Hey guys, Anfinim here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video, or rather, somewhat of a Minecraft video. And in this video, I'm going to be guiding you guys a little bit through the program that I use, which allowed me to flatten out my land in my 8-bit art Minecraft video. And if you guys haven't checked that out, uh, be sure to check out my channel, and uh, you guys will love it. I highly recommend it, uh, if you haven't already. It's awesome. So yeah, I'm not going to go too, depth, too in depth as to how this program works. If you want to download it, uh, the link will be in the description as to where you can download it from uh, and when you actually download and install this program and it may be windows only i'm not sure but there is a readme file in there now that'll tell you exactly how the how the controls in the program works and the basic functions of it so i'm just gonna pretty much delve right into it um yeah so as you can see i have this little block in front of me uh if i i, I had my right click held but if i let go of it uh, you can see my mouse and if i single click you can see this block sort of hovers in front of me. And if I have my mouse uh, let go, you can't see the block at all. It doesn't show up at all. Uh, yeah. So, and by the way, this seed that I'm in is the one that I used for my uh, my random num my first random numbers uh, seed showcase, uh, and it is pretty pretty awesome. So when you're messing around with MC Edit, uh, you have this block in front of you, and you're in sort of this no clip mode. So you can fly around. Uh, um, if you either have the, if you at any point, if you have the block in front of you, you can freely fly around. So yeah, now that I've gotten the basic controls out of the way, and to fly around, use W A S and D and all that good stuff. Now that I've gotten the basic controls out of the way, I'm going to guide you through the uh, how to actually use the program. It is a little bit glitchy, but uh, excuse that. It's the best one for what it does. So when I right click here and I have my mouse back, on the bottom here you can see a bunch of different options. Now I'm not going to get too much into what these do, but uh, I'm going to get the basic idea down. Uh, on the right side here, might as well get these out of the way, is uh, move player and move spawn point. Now these are completely 100% self-explanatory. I'm going to move my character over here. Now the, the character is not in this area, but if I just click the move player here and I hold right click, uh, and I and also if you if you have right click held and you scroll the mouse forward, it brings it uh, it uh it uh whatever block you have selected goes further away from you. And if you scroll towards you, it goes towards you. So I'm gonna do this. Uh, have I have it placed right at this little corner right here, and I'm just gonna click and it's gonna place the player right in there, right there. And if I choose move spawn point, it does basically the same thing. It uh, moves the spawn point for the player itself. So yeah, that's how you do that. Now let's get actually get into how to mess with blocks. Now, as I said before, MC Edit is the program that allowed me to make my 8-bit art Minecraft map flat. So I'm going to show you the tools that you need to use that. There's the select tool and there's the brush tool. I'm not going to get so much into how the brush tool works, but I will a little bit at the very end of the video. So be sure to check out that because it's very cool. It shows you how to make spheres in, in Minecraft here. Uh, so yeah, be sure to stick around till the end. But these four buttons here that are that sort of are highlighted red have to do with blocks you have selected. So clone, self-explanatory, fill and replace, self-explanatory, filter. Uh, I haven't messed with it too much, but I think it has to go with filtering out certain blocks within an area. So if I were to select a bunch of area with trees, I could filter out just leaves or something, or just wood, or just stone, or something like that. So yeah, and chunk control is more of an advanced option. It has to do with the chunks in the Minecraft. Uh, the so if you know exactly how map saves and all that works, you'll know what a chunk is. If you don't, don't worry about it too much. You don't need to know. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my select tool and you'll see a little bar around it. And I'm going to flatten out a certain selection of land. Now I'm going to uh, cut away from the face of this mountain so you guys can really know the power, you know, the power of this program and exactly how it works. I'm going to, as I have right click held here, or you can, like I said, as long as this block is moving around, uh, choose the corner with whatever area you want to uh, mess with. So I'm going to choose right there. So click once until this uh, one width, one length, and one height little thing shows up in the, in the middle of the screen. So I know you guys can see that. And then just move your cursor wherever you want. And you can see the selection area being selected right now. I'm going to go this way actually. And it only goes as high as the skyline. So that's why uh, the block gets really far away. So I'm just going to hit, I'm just going to left click again and that actually selects the entire area and you see on the left hand side of the screen you get various amounts of options uh deselect select chunks like i said more more advanced option delete blocks delete entities and export schematic export schematic is another advanced feature which like if you were to make a statue or something in a test map and you wanted to export it onto another map you could use this program to do it you export the schematic for that and import it into um, uh you open up another map in mc edit and you use the import option if i 
right click here you can see down here there's an import option so that's what schematic does uh, but as far as this option goes what I'm gonna do is uh, having all of these blocks selected I'm going to delete the blocks and you there's a shortcut you can just hit delete if you want I'm just gonna click on the button on the left hand side now it takes quite a while and it's mess it's messing with just over 3.8 million blocks but it's not deleting quite that many and as you can see uh, in red here uh, the, the land itself is being deleted now I'm just gonna uh, double click here really quick and as you can see this entire selection of land has flattened out by quite a bit or I shouldn't even say by quite a bit it's completely gotten flattened out and you can see the open areas of the hillside here as I showed before so the last feature that I'm gonna show for MC edit and I'm gonna deselect de that block I just selected is I'm gonna or the second to last option is gonna be the uh, well I have to use the select tool again in order to do it so select the land again uh, I believe that was the corner right there if not no worries and bring this all the way over to the other corner I'm just I'm just gonna be very rough in what I'm doing here but uh, bring it over to the other corner and make it so that the height is only one so you're basically making a floor and you can make uh, yeah so just click once and then as you can see the options on the bottom here instead of uh, choosing uh, clone or any of the other options I'm gonna choose fill and replace now fill and replace is exactly as it sounds it allows you to fill in uh, the selection with whatever block you want and up top you can use search if I wanted to fill it in with TNT I could just type in TNT so what I'm gonna use to fill this in is I'm gonna use cyan wool and uh, so there you go you can just click on that and uh, yeah I'm gonna click on that and hit hit OK so it hasn't done it yet, but it's pre it's prepped the land for to uh, actually do that. And I'm going to hit fill. And this takes a little bit of time, but not terribly much. It depends on your computer as to how long it actually is going to take. And then I'm going to hit deselect here now that I see the land is turned red. And as you can see, the map is being filled in with cyan blocks. So, or cyan wool, I should say. I'm going to move myself over to where my character is actually spawning, which is actually below the ground right now. So I should have uh, waited to show you what that does. Now I'm going to move it right uh, here. And I'm going to move the player to be right next to it. Excellent. And then if I end up moving away on the map here by quite a bit, as you can see, I have this move player option selected. If I were to move like way over here, I could actually hit the go to player thing on the left and it would move my, uh, my camera view right over here. So now I'm going to select the brush tool, as I noted before, and brush allows you to make pre-made shapes. As you can see here, there's a sphere that sort of popped out of the ground, and you can see in the middle of that sphere is your selection block. So, uh, yeah. So uh, on the left-hand side here, you get a bunch of different options. You can choose a, a round or a severe shape, as I just showed you. You can choose a square shape, which is just a, basically a giant block, and I'll place one down just, for, just to have something to show you guys after. And then you can use a diamond block. Now I'm actually I'm just going to be ironic here, and I'm going to I'm going to type in diamond, and I'm going to make or not diamond that uh, diamond, and I'm going to make this entire diamond thing out of blocks of diamond, just to give you guys something different to look at. Uh, yeah. So as you guys can see, you guys can make various shapes uh, based on those three shapes. So you can choose different sizes and stuff like that. And I'm going to have one stick like out of the side here. I should make that out of like I should make that out of a different thing and it'd be like a gun or something. Imagine that having like a laser at the very end of it or something. Pew 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 pew. I'm going off on a tangent now. So the the options that you can get with the uh, with the brush tool is surface. I'm not too sure what that does. Noise and then hollow. Now hollow. I'm only choosing hollow right now just uh, to actually uh, show you what noise does here. And I'm going to choose uh, for my material. I'm going to choose glass. Hit OK. And by holding right click, I can uh, very carefully position where exactly I want this to be. So with noise on, or actually with noise off, and I place this down, it looks just exactly like uh, a sphere. Now you can see all around me, I'm on the inside of the sphere, it looks like a normal sphere. If I turn noise on, and I place it down, it, at first it doesn't look like much of anything, but when I place it down, and I go inside the sphere, it looks like a super creeper blew up inside of this thing. Um, yeah. That's essentially the the most basic way you can think of what noise does. It uh, deletes a certain percentage of the blocks that you place. So I'm going to turn that off. And you, you can also change the size and stuff. So if I wanted it to be... Uh, I probably shouldn't have selected 70. Let's select... Uh, let's do... I Actually, I think 70 is fine. Yeah. 
but I, it's very, really, really far scrolled out. Uh, I have to scroll in here really, really fast in order to actually get this block to come towards me. But you can see far out in the distance that there is a, an absolutely huge sphere there, and it's more of a perfect sphere shape. I'm going to change the size here down back to 25, so it's, a, it's more of a manageable shape. I think my mouse is really far away from me, um, so no big deal, I guess, right now. Let's get this closer to me, so sorry for the delay. And I think I just placed down a couple spheres off in the distance, but no worries. All right, so I got the sphere closer to me. And next what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to choose the select tool. Uh, just one more little thing. I'm going to select an area here. I'm gonna select a very small area right here. And I'm going to choose the fill and replace tool. And this allows you to basically just fill and replace whatever blocks you have selected. So I'm gonna make a little wall of TNT here. I'm gonna fill this in. Let's do that again with one more, uh, ju with just one more corner, so I can blow up a, a good percentage of this, uh, of this uh, stone uh, square thing here. Yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, I'm stuttering over my words because I've been recording nonstop since I started this. So yeah. Alrighty then. So I got this little wall set up. I have all sorts of shapes set up. So now I'm gonna hit fill. And then I'm going to deselect these blocks by selecting the option on the left. And then I'm going to, if you hold control, you can see these options here, which uh, allow uh, you create new world, open. But most importantly, I'm going to hit control and S. And that is going to save everything that I have done so far. So now, this take does take a while to save. Um, and when you want to exit out of the program when you're all done and when this is all done saving, just hit Alt F4. Or you can just uh, hold control and hit the little quit button. So I'm going to let this save. And then I'm going to meet you guys back in uh, Minecraft. Uh, where I'm going to actually show you in Minecraft all, everything that we've done so far. Alright, so now I have the map loaded up. And you guys can see everything that I've done here so far. You can see the walls of TNT. The uh, the pew pew cannon here made out of diamond blocks with the sphere there. It looks like, uh, looks like something out of Star Trek except very badly made. I wouldn't know anything that would come out of Star Trek, so don't quote me on that. You can see the accidental spheres that I placed off in the distance, and apparently all of this is being set on fire, too. This is very interesting. Look at that. There's fire off in the distance. So I might just have to let this come towards me. Um, I might have to cut this, too. But, uh, yeah, you can see the spheres that I placed and the one with noise. And uh, as soon as that fire hits this TNT, it's going to light it all up. I'm... I'm going to actually cut to when the fire actually gets close enough to set off this TNT, and I'll end the video right there. Alright, so it is time for Judgment in Minecraft here, and I'll get to the edge here really quick, and you can see off in the distance there, the mountain that we ended up cutting up, the, the very awesome mountain here in this, in this map. Uh, yeah, I hope I end up making it through this, or that the TNT even gets set off, because this would be a real embarrassment if it didn't. But if it doesn't actually set off the TNT, then I'll set it off myself, uh, so... Have no fear, and venomous here. That that was lame. I was trying to be clever, which instantly makes it not clever. Uh, yeah, uh, I know pe uh, a few people will know that reference. Not very many though who watch my videos. Come on, set on fire, set on fire. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, it's oh, it's going. Oh, it's going. It's going. Oh God. Ah, oh, and that's all it did too. Fail. At least I think that's all it did. Or maybe, oh no, all the TNT is gone. It just didn't render at all. Yep, it got rid of a fair bit of it. <laughs> that was awesome. It was a fail, but it was a win. I'd say that's mostly a win because I got diamond blocks out of it. Anyways, guys, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed. And uh, yeah, my name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. And thanks so much for watching.